where there is repentance, there is a reset to our lives. Jesus guarantees it and God remembers the sins no more. Therefore, don't let your past haunt your present and don't let your past define your future. Now I have a, I have a theory. I've been working on this for about 10 years now. I was introduced to part of it in philosophy class and college and then continued on in seminary and built upon it. This is the way I see God at work in the midst of these verses. You don't have to agree with me, but this is the way I see God at work in the midst of our lives, given uh, light of these passages talking about God blotting out our sin, removing it as far as the east is from the west. So follow along with me. Say, this is your life. You have a beginning, your birth. You have an ending, your death. Spoiler alert. If I'm the one who drew the line, then I am God in this analogy. I see your life from its beginning to its end in its entirety. Now, you and I, as humans, we walk through life this way. This is the only direction that we move through human time and space. But I, as God, see all of it at once. I stand outside of human time and space. But I, being God, can be in the midst of your timeline, your life, at any given point simultaneously. I being God can be in your life here and here and here and here all at once. This is why I think scripture says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever because God is not bound to human time and space. God just is. When Moses asked God at the burning bush, what is your name? He says, I am. I am the very presence. I am just raw essence. I always am. And so here's the thing. When we sin, create a mark in our lives, right? Maybe this was May 6, 1999. What did you do on May 6, 1999? I'm sure you sinned, so there it is, right there. <laughs> we sin again. We sin again. Of course, it's, this is my life, my timeline, it's like this. <laughs> right? God says, or scripture tells us that when we confess our sins, we acknowledge those things, we, we, we repent of those things, we, we start moving the nut in the other direction, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. He blots out our sins. So I literally think this is what happens. God goes back to the timeline and does this. And amends the timeline. You see, we are always moving forward in human time and space. So therefore, we have to live with the consequences of the things we do in this life. But when God looks at our lives, he sees none of it. In fact, when God looks at our lives, he sees Jesus. He sees the cross. God remembers those sins no more. They're wiped completely from his memory. Friends, does that comfort you? Man, I hope so. The past is the past. Leave your sins in the dust. 